Hello everybody, Freezing Inferno here, and welcome to Let's Play Zoda's Revenge Star Tropics 2 in one sitting. If you haven't watched the Star Tropics in one sitting series, well, you won't have any idea what's going on here, but basic idea, I play this video game straight and chop all the footage into little chunks for you all. Yeah, so this is just telling us the basic plot of the uh, first game, which you should know. If you don't, well, the game just told you. Some kid named Mike Jones saved his uncle and some space children. And his scientist uncle found a magic giant rock that was actually an escape pod for said alien children. And now he's trying to find a decipher decoding it, which... I thought he already did decipher. I clearly remember him saying, I deciphered the thingamabob. Yeah. Hey, it's Space Zelda. I mean, Mika. Yeah. So, there's Zoda, who is an alien. Really, you should, you should have some rudimentary idea of what Star Tropics is to understand this. Oh, goody. Now, another note. This game came out in uh, 1994. This was actually the second to last official release by Nintendo on the NES. Now, think back. Think to what you were playing in 1994. It didn't look at all like that, and I did it. I already had a game going here. Play testing. Let's just register our name. Uh huh. F I is a little stale. Also, I forgot to tell you what review mode was in the first game. Review mode just puts you back at the start of a chapter. So if you have like a save file that's in the middle of a chapter, you can use review mode and start over again. If you particularly like playing through a chapter again. You know. Anyway, let's just get the game on the go. Chapter 1. Which is nothing but talking. Two minutes of talking. I don't even know why this is called Chapter 1. Hey, it's Mike! Hi, I've been... Well, you answered my own goddamn question for me. I fucking hate when people do that. Do I remember your uncle? Let's don't! I should read the manual to understand. Well, I think I'll do just that, Mike Jones. Well, luckily, I have my manual for Zoda's Revenge Star Tropics 2 right here. Now then, let's look through here and see what we got. Okay. Not long ago, a high school student and part-time adventurer Mike Jones journeyed to the South Seas and single-handedly put an end to the schemes of an evil, evil alien named Zoda. He also managed to save his uncle, the famous archaeologist Dr. Steve Jones, famous, and seven space children from Zoda's clutches. Very, very nice art here. Even though we didn't fight on the ground, we fought in a spaceship. Okay, so now we've got... What the fuck are, are, are those things? Mike has now returned to his home in Seattle, where Dr. Jones has attempted to decipher a strange inscription that he found on the side of the space children's escape pod. The cipher was written by Hirokon, leader of the planet Argonia. When Zoda's forces attacked Argonia, Hirokon sent the children away so they could escape from the wrath of this powerful villain. If Dr. Jones can decipher the inscription, it may clue Mike in how he can destroy the evil aliens once and for all. Uh, okay. Oh, now we've got a... Picture of the book. Dr. Jones believes the answer to the puzzle last summer in the Oxford Wonderworld, a book that he received some time ago from a very wise old man. It includes stories of caveman, Cleopatra, Leonardo da Vinci, and many other people of the past. If Dr. Jones can uncover the mystery of the inscription, he might be able to find a connection between the stories in the book and the plight of the Argonians. Star Trek 2 manual. That makes no sense. You literally just told me that in the uh, attract screen. Fucking ridiculous. Well, that only told us the stuff that you just. And you just told me anyway. What was the point of that? And the rest of the side, I thought you. I, I don't even know how. Okay, okay. We gotta calm down here because the game is kind of 
It has retarded leaps in logic that will drive me insane. Holy shit! What the hell? Me hey, Space Zelda, what are you talking about? I mean, Mika. The phone, where's my phone? Oh, it's, it's telepathy. Never, never mind, it's not, it's not a telephone at all! She's using mind power! No, not like that. Remember this, remember that? Jesus Christ. What in the name of God? We're four minutes in and you're already throwing this nonsense at us. But, but you called me, you... Oh, for... Hi, Dr. J. Hmm, tough, hmm, yes, hmm, tough, hmm, tough, hmm, hmm, yes, hmm, quite, hmm. Mm, no, hmm, nah, uh, oh, oh, for God's sakes. Uncle Steve, we be good. I also get used to this blah blah hero, blah blah this, blah blah that shit. Yes, that is exactly what I got my telepathy. <laughs> what the fuck is... What is this? It's a bit further... Uh, uh, uh. Oh, it's a palindrome! Oh, okay! And you deduce this how? From a weird-ass palindrome... The Oxford Wonderworld. You read the strange words of the... Why are the strange words of an alien cipher in a book called The Oxford Wonderworld? Pa 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 pu pa 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 um pa pa ma mao, which I think is the uh, main riff of Surf and Bird. Wait, what's going on now? All right, so five minutes into the game, and I'm completely fucking lost. <laughs> 